This is the solar system model. It's pretty complicated. Has a very large gear train that spans the um, entire model. So let's see how it works. First of all, we have the motor unit. Let's talk about that first. In the motor driving, the motor is driving an 8 tooth gear, driving a 24 tooth gear, driving an 8 tooth gear. As you might know, this 24 tooth gear is an idler gear and it has um, no change on the gear ratio. But this last 8 tooth gear is connected to the worm gear. Next, the 24 tooth gear idler gear is connected to a 16 tooth gear on its axle. Then that 16 tooth gear wraps around a chain to another 16 tooth. So we have two important functions. First of all is to ro rotate the turntable and the second is to rotate the planet toys. So for this a tooth gear is driving the worm gear. Then it is driving this outer layer of the turntable which is turning the entire solar system. The next thing the motor connected to is um, the planet spinning. As you can see, the 16 tooth gear is connected to a 12 tooth double bevel, which meshes with the 12 tooth double bevel, one to one gear ratio, which um, the rotation is transferred to this um, sun um, planetoid. We have not too complex gear train down here, where the 12 tooth gear is connected to 24, which 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 then spins an 8 tooth gear, which is connected to the Earth and Moon. The Moon will sort of spin around the Earth. Um, because of this, Earth will spin um, three times faster than the Sun, which also makes some sense. So, this um, second to last 24 tooth gear is connected to um, 12 tooth gear, which is connected to um, this 20 tooth gear, which is also connected to this small turntable, assuring that the whole turntable, whole small turntable will spin once the power is received from the 12 tooth. So, after you gain that knowledge, this um, complicated model um, can be understood. Bye-bye.